What's up, everybody? It's your boys, Jin and Juice, back at it again. And today, we are doing our pickups video for the National. A lot of people keep asking us uh, on the live stream as well, but we wanted to make it a dedicated video because between the both of us, we actually got a lot of pickups. So we'll start off by uh, looking at my single cards. I'll go through mine, then I'll pass it off to Drewski to close it out. Here we go. We got a couple of Mari Stoudemire rookie cards. Mm -hmm. Wanted to add those to the collection. I did pick up a LaMelo ball. Um, I, pay, I did uh, pay cash for it, but hey, added it to the collection. Remember, I'm collecting all the Genesis uh, mosaic cards from uh, 2021. This is adding to the collection, Miles <laughs> <laughs> Mason Plumley. Plumley. Good old Mason. Um, I picked up two Cam Johnson um autos here uh actually no i think they did come to the table there was oh, like okay. hey uh, i think they wanted to give it to me for free oh but i wanted good. to pay so i yeah, think yeah. i can't remember if i gave a ton of money or not but then these lori marketing autos i'm probably the only person in the world that, them. that wants your lori marketing autos but you know, you i got a lot here ladies and gentlemen out of 100 this one's out of 49 and i believe the specter is out of 75 yeah gonna get these cleaned up and moved over I did pick up a Luka Doncic stained glass from, I think this is what, 2019, 2020? Yeah. This is the last year before they started becoming super popular mm -hmm. and they changed the design. I personally think these designs are fantastic. So this Luka Doncic, happy to add it to the collection. And then I picked up, out of 10, this Star Wars card. I didn't pay the, of two. You know, the 400 because I did a bundle. But yeah, the rule of two, seven out of 10. I love Star Wars. Really excited to pick up a lot of the Galaxy cards. I was hoping you wouldn't pick that up and you were going to put it back. <laughs> you wanted to swoop in. I saw him hiding it, it and then he bought it. I was like, okay. That was at the trade night for uh, Don, Diego. Don Diego. Yeah. And then uh, I picked up more Star Wars. This is out of 50. Um, this is from, I forget what set this is from. Uh, this is not the Topps Galaxy set, but uh, was it Finest? It might have been Finest or something like that. I'll have to double check, but. Again, Vader, this is volume two. Um, him putting the his saber into the, looks like some type of ice or something. It was kind of dope. I thought the image was sick. Huge Vader guy, 47 out of 50 on that. Then a fan walked up <laughs> and said, yo, I know you're collecting Lori. I have his one-on-one -on -one prism. This is, I think, from 2019-2020. Yep, 2019-2020. Um, I made him an offer. I think I paid 400 bucks for it. I might have overpaid. I don't know. But I mean, you're a fan, so it's I think I'm again overpaid. Right. I think I'm the only one that would buy this card. So I was happy to pay. He happily accepted. And yeah, 101, Lori. Adding it to the collection. It's just dope. I like it. It's never going to be a 10 because it's off centered. I don't know if I'm ever going to get graded. But, hey, maybe now it's the time to collect the rainbow of 2019-2020. So the next two cards are kind of cool. Um, both have some stories to them. So this was a black box 101 Go Birds card. Someone came up. Um, I don't think black box 101 cards are as, value, uh, as valuable as true 101 cards. Because a lot of time these are like out of 25, out of 40, out of 50, whatever. And they got the stamp on the back. So... We agreed to a price. I picked this up because it says Go Birds. It was really cool. Fan of the channel. Um, so I was happy to take this off. And then before I show you the other ones, but there's the Black Box 101 stamp. Beautiful card. Then our boy Jen over here was working out a deal. He And I'll, I I won't go into the details of the card he, he got because he'll show them off here in a bit. But he was working on a deal. This was part of that deal. And, you know, we made a, a side deal on the side that I would help him out get a little I bit of cash. You know, rake him over the coals. I, I really gave him the squeeze. <laughs> I got max dollar out of this guy. He was loaded, and he went home broke after buying this car. I still came home with somebody, but, hey, uh, I, I, took I, I appreciate him doing this for me um, because I'm trying to collect as many of these as possible. Um, but it was a LaMelo Ball RPA out of 75 Spectro, 5 out of 75. Thank you, Drew, for helping me I out. I wish that the patch was better. Yeah. It's kind of like either, like the, yours. The 1 out of 99? Yeah. So I do have... More color. Right. I do have 1 out of 99. Um, hopefully, my goal... I think there's a 149 and a 199. And then there's going to be out of 50 or out of 49. Then out of 25... Out of 15, 10, 5, and 2, 1. I don't think I'll ever get the 1, but I'm going to try. 
I'm gonna try to get as many of these as possible. They're gonna be expensive. So they're gonna go if you have it in your collection and you're looking to sell. Boom. Potential buyer. Also, take a look at those dope loot box stickers. Mm -hmm. Just got those in the mail not too long ago. All right, so first up, I did pick up this Doctor Strange PSA 10. Um, I forget the guy. I think I might have picked up the same guy that you picked up yours. But uh, nonetheless, I picked this up. PSA 10. I think I only paid like two something for it. 250. Uh, yeah, I think so. Watch me open. Um, I'll have to double check. I think I recorded it. But at the end of the day, I saw a PSA 10 sell for like 300 bucks recently. So nice. I think I got a good deal. You're a Doctor Strange fan. Added to the Doctor Strange collection. Um, and then next up, I did get more Star Wars <laughs> Elite the Faith Atomic Refractor. The Atomics are selling like crazy. Um, pay, I, I paid last comp for it because, again, these cards are rising. Who sold you that one? Uh, the same guy I got the out of the 10 one. Mm. I'll put up his Instagram. Yeah, I'll put up his Instagram because I forget. The cardboard yeah. collaborative. Yeah, that guy. And... Uh, Basically, he had a bunch of them, and I'll, I'll put up his Instagram. You guys will see it. Give him a follow. I'm really bad with names. Um, next up is, okay, so I picked up this LaMelo Ball, added it to the collection. It's a PSA 9. Got it for super, super cheap. Uh, just wanted to get more graded LaMelo Ball stuff. I think he's way undervalued right now, and uh, I picked it up. I think easily his card will be double the price probably in the season, and as he continues to dominate the NBA in the years to come. Yeah, I said it. Next up is, you guys saw the short video. Basically got this card on a coin flip. I would have nice. paid 150 or 120, and I got it for 120. Coin flip in my favor. So PSA 9, Red Crack Dice, LaMelo. What better way to solve a price dispute than leaving it up to chance? Yep. Hey, we all get it. We all get a fair shot. I let the dude flip the coin too, yeah. and he called 50 -50. it. 50-50. So, oh, and then here we go. I got Mosaic. Genesis LaMelo Ball. This is the NBA debut. There's two other ones um, that you can get the National Pride and the regular yeah. um, mosaic one, um, the Genesis. But this is phenomenal. Absolutely love this card. Wow. And he just changed his number to number one. So, you know, a lot, his first and second year cards are going to be the number two jersey. But, wow. I'm, the LaMelo Ball collection just keeps going. I love it. Next up is... Corner of the market on those lamella balls. <laughs> I don't know about corner, but hey, I'm going to try to, to do something. Try. Here we go. We got a Kaboom Jalen Hurts uh, PSA 9. I think this card is gorgeous, adding it to the Jalen Hurts collection. I did say that I wanted to collect more Jalen Hurts Auto, autos, yeah. but this is one of those rare, like, I think Kabooms are just awesome. There's one or two... Uh, inserts like kaboom, Kabooms or Color Blast that I will collect. Is that the year where they just did gold and the yes, silver? Yes, I think so. so. No green, right? I don't think so. so no, actually, the... no. I think someone did have the green. I'll okay, have to double check. So green, gold, and a <laughs> There we go. Take his money. He wants me to always spend money, but here we go. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help you get your Yeah, PC. yeah, yeah. Sure you are. Sure you are. Sure you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Next up, picked up this John Stockton auto here out of 10. He had, like, Larry Bird. He had a couple other individuals out of 10 and stuff. But he's priced him, like, a five or four grand. And I, I got this card well under a 1000 bucks, as I think maybe it's worth. I told him, honestly, I think it might be worth a 1000 maybe a little bit more. Um, you guys, yeah, you guys let me know. It's 7 out of 10. Um, I probably paid more than I would have should have paid, but it, it definitely was well below the thousand dollar mark. Um, all right, I'll just tell you, I paid seven hundred bucks for it. Hmm. I don't think it's that bad. Nine nine point five out of ten, realistically. If I lose a little bit of money, I don't know, but I, I truly think it's around like a thousand to fifteen hundred. Okay. And I do have it up on eBay. Got beat up a little bit on it because wow. I, I knew I, was, I told him I was going to sell it. He was he's like, hey, I'm not going to add this to my collection. This is what I'm trying to get out of mm -hmm. it. I walked him through the process and, and the steps. So. This card is up on eBay. I think I do have fifteen hundred bucks on it, and I'll take best offer. Um, you know, one dollar. I don't know about that, but there it is. All right, so we're picking back up. We had to change up the camera because your boy is a knucklehead. Anyway, here we go. I did pick up this Lamelo Ball <laughs> rookie ticket auto out mm. of forty nine. Now I'm gonna crack it out because the auto got an eight, and I'm not a fan of that. 
Gotcha. But I think the card looks gorgeous. So I want to have it regrade it, and I want to have it regrade it without the auto. And the card itself is, I'm going to say the card itself is probably like a $2,200 card when valuing it, maybe anywhere from 2000 to 2200 But I think mm -hmm. as a nine, it'll go back up for sure. Mm -hmm. Without, I think the eight auto, when you look at it, it looks like he moved the pen a little bit too much. And that's why probably why like he picked it up and put it back down. It's not fluid. Yeah, and it's a little, and it starts a light, heavy. Yeah. So. Maybe it's the start of a new pen. Yeah, maybe. So, either way, I this is like a holy grail card for me. Absolutely amazing. Um, there's also someone that picked up another one of these, but that person doesn't know I'm going to make them an offer probably later on. Mm. But here we go. And without further ado, I'm going to pass this off to Jin, and he's going to close it out, and we're going to have some stories. All right. All right, where should we begin? Well, we have that one uh, on the top. Yeah, nothing crazy. Just uh, the pinnacle Kobe Bryant auto. Condition wise, the corners are very soft. So, you know, I'll get it graded just to encase the card. But uh, I'm not expecting um, high grades on it just because of that. But I mean, still for a good price, I picked it up. Um, I believe. I believe it was like six or seven hundred bucks on that one. Wow. And then we had a Pokemon guy stop by. Wow. And I picked this bad boy up. Pokemon. Yep. The Shining Magic Carp first edition. Uh nine, mint nine from CGC. So but I will be crossing this over to PSA because I don't think I have a first edition. So I hope I do cross it over and it does get a nine. And then I can have one in my collection. But CGC9 was a good pickup. Um, I believe this was a couple hundred bucks, like uh, eight or nine hundred, I think. Really? Yeah, had heard me say before that I was going to get rid of Zion and this and that. But I saw him looking really good. So this came up as a as a potential trade option with some, some of the cards that I had. So I did pick this one up. This is the Spectra Variation Interstellar Quad 9.5. It's a mouthful. Zion. Yeah, it's a mouthful, it is. So 16 out of 49. Apparently this used to belong to Adam at Louisville Sports Card and it went kind of back and forth, but um, it was all part because of a fellow YouTuber and yeah. big Instagram uh, and uh, TikToker, Justin. Yeah, my buddy Justin. I'll leave his contact information around here. You guys will see his Instagram, his YouTube. He it, was making an amazing national video. We won't go in too crazy of detail of it because you guys are definitely going to want to check it out. Make sure you tell him Lootbox TV sent you. But this was part of the trade, and I know you traded something for this to him, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's basically he had a, he was doing a trade up challenge. So uh, make sure you follow his stuff and check it out. Uh, it was a crazy, crazy day of running around making trades to get up from somewhere from a certain starting point to a potential end point. So this was part of it. So you'll see us maybe a couple times in there uh, making some deals. But I've always wanted a curry, and you know this one came in, and it was for a good cause. So got it. All right, and the next one, now this is very important for my PC. So thanks to Pokefort13, he came by and he showed me this bad boy. <laughs> the full art Luigi from the Luigi Pikachu special box. And he sold me this to finally complete my collection. I had been debating whether I wanted to open my Luigi box because I did accidentally tear the top of the, the seal a little bit and I was was saying if it would suck if I opened it, graded it, and it got a 9. But he was gracious enough to sell me the 10 out of the set. So I was able to complete my set. Ha-ha. Uh -huh. But I think, I think you got the best uh, value out of your your set. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. I so You sold we, all four as a set for yeah, like 8 so, grand? Yeah, when we opened up Pokemon, I had this set. And sealed boxes, and we made a video where I cracked it out. I set it in a PSA. I got it. All it. four cards came back PSA ten, and I think uh, I sold it. And at the time, I had a price for like twelve grand because Pokemon was in the hype. But I did let it go around ten thousand dollars. Nice. And I think now the complete set is maybe around eight, eight or grand. a little bit less. I think the last one sold for like five, but it's oh, worth a lot more for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Wow. Yeah. Oof. 
And then, uh, you know, Russell Wilson, red, white, and blue. A lot of kids were coming up with the uh, trade-up challenge, so, you know, gave him a quick trade-up for this Russell Wilson. So, you know, helping out the kids, doing uh, cute challenges, uh, versing other people. Yeah, grab that Gary V one real quick, too. So, also, um, there's a video, and I'll, I'll, I'll have it up here, um, that you guys should check out where... We were a part of a trade up challenge and she was basically trading her way up. Oh yes. And I traded her this Gary V auto for um, a Kyler Murray select rookie PSA ten. Right, right, right. She started with a penny. Yeah. Yeah. So she dropped that video. So I'll link her stuff here too. Check Pop it out. Up, check it out. It was a really cool video. I'm gonna see if she let me repost it because a bunch of people reposted. Ah. And then the next one were some Marvel cards I picked up. For, oh. From uh, Watch Me Open. Yeah, so we got a nice little clear Spider-Man, PSA 10, clear chrome. Very cool. That is really nice. And then I got a Battle Spectra Gem, uh, SGC 9, which I'll try to cross over again. But Juggernaut versus Colossus. You're not a big fan of SGC slabs? Yeah, I'm not really that big of a fan. Um, <laughs> But I think there's some you and scratches I. and stuff. But I would like to cross it over. PSA, I, I do like PSA. PSA is so nice. And then, again, in a trade, I got this nice PSA 10. Justin Herbert, 2020 Justin Herbert rookie. Negative. negative, yep. So that was nice as part of a trade for some and some cash to get a card. Now, I don't remember you picking up the next one. Oh, yeah. It was part of the same trade. Boom. Adesanya, Mojo Championship SIG, PSA 10. Now I can see why they didn't obviously grade the auto. It yeah. does go off the uh, sticker, but still the card itself is a 10. A beautiful card in itself. He's defending his title again against that, uh, I believe it's the other kickboxer guy. Yep. Finally, November 12th, I believe is the date. Wow, 21 out of 25, beautiful yeah. card. And then just picked up a Messi uh, 2014 World Cup uh, just the base messy as a 10 and expensive. So a kid was selling it. So I said, hey, I like like I like messy. It's a World Cup stuff and a 10. So it can't be can't be too bad. It wasn't too that. expensive. Oh, and then the cardboard collaborative sold me this. Ooh. This was the 2021 Skybox Metal X-Men Wolverine. That's so sick. Planet Metal. That's the so copper sick. version. And again, I will be crossing this over. But I mean a nine five, and it's a metal card, so it makes me wonder if it's maybe that's a, a surface issue or what it is. But we'll soon find out. I'll All right, save that. some of the big ones for last. All so right, this it. is the one you wanted to make a deal with me. So yep. this was part of the other Lamelo trade yeah. for my uh, Joe Burrow first off the line rookies um, numbers. Yep. So it was like the Joe Burrow with one ninety one. Here and then it has his um, like uniform piece in there and then his signature. So, yeah, FOTL exclusive, yep. right? So, it was these two some cash for that card. Um, and this was from uh, what's his name? Uh, the Mecca of Sports Cards. So, I made a deal with them, check them out on IG, the Mecca of Sports Cards, and we were able to make a deal. Uh, he really wanted it because he has the Justin Herbert. Yeah. Also, so he wanted to have the Herbert and the Burrow, so uh, I made the deal with him, and then this one went to Juice. Yep, and I, I paid cash I for gave, that. Gave him a beating, and then uh, now I can give him an extra beating on this one because it's a ten, and uh, he's gonna pay a lot for it. For got sure. seventy nine. I would love to add that next to the forty nine auto I got. Yep. So the next big card was. <laughs> You're like, what? Yes, I do like Game of Thrones, and I do like a movie I love clock. Game of Thrones. So, the great curator, I saw during trade night that he had this, and I said, I will be stopping by your booth to soften you up until you give me this card for a really good price. And we we did fight a little bit, and, came, and finally came, he came to a, a price where he could let it go. Because he had just acquired this at the yeah. show. So, you know... Follow him on Instagram. Yeah, he's we'll got have it up. he's got a lot of of like pop culture stuff, Star Wars. I'll tell you this: the he's, man is one of the funniest people you ever follow. He makes really good reels. 
on his uh, Instagram. You guys got to give him a follow. Absolutely hilarious. Knows a lot about, you know, the Game of Thrones, Star Wars, you name Marvel, it. Marvel, everything. Like, he's all a part of it. Make sure you guys give him a follow. So it's in the card saver because it is going off to PSA for grading. Woo-woo!